But but I I I was watching the game and I was like, man, we just need two good overs. Because we know it's 2020, and we can change at any time. And hats off to, to Mr. Jones because you know he, he stood here and he stick it out and then he started last his thing like there is no tomorrow. What does that mean for the U.S.? U.S. now a part of it, U.S. hosted it. Well, well, that's a big achievement. That's a big achievement. For, for U.S. to be hosted, the U.S. It, uh, you, uh, the World Cup, it shows that the U.S. has not been recognized. So it's cricket, lovely cricket. We just want to welcome you guys to 5th TV, the best TV that is bringing you coverage of the U.S. E20 World Cup. And just want to say, guys, not often I get to stand beside somebody who's almost rubbing shoulder with me. But this afternoon, I'm here with Mr. O'Neill Walker, one of the foundation in terms of cricket here in the USA. That's same for me when I came to the US many years back, about 17 years back. You know, O'Neill was a pace bowler running in, bowling for Jamaica. You know, and I was introduced. So between me, O'Neill, Anglin, you know, we were basically the backbone of the Jamaica, the, the, the bowling team. You know, Jamaica is so far, guys, you know. And one thing I know about him, he's a disciplined person and he knows cricket. But, you know, to play in cricket back then and we, you know, see what is happening. USA only is in World Cup cricket right at home, bro. Tell us what that means for US. Man, huge. I mean, what, what else can, can we ask for after cricket is coming from, like, we have the term grassroots. The US grassroots are referring to because cricket here was like, you know, a lot of fight to get to, to, to the level of where we are now, you know, fighting to get grounds or to keep the grounds because it's not a city sports, not a county sports, not a US sports actually. So for, for us to really get it out of the ground, the way how we stand up with, with everything going over the years and what can I say? To what's even one of our products, which is Steve Taylor. Man, we are black yes, black yes, black. who is black to play for the US. I mean, it's a big thing. Yes, guys. So, honey, we have just. I've told you some of the struggles that we went through, and I was part of it. As he said, groans. It was hard sometimes to find a ground player. You know, as he said, the city doesn't support it. So simple mean it's like cricketers trying to fight. You know, assist him. Um, I know Canada was a little bit cocky. I can see how they were like going around, you know, them chess and some edge. All this thing, like you know, he was never chance. But like I said, cricket, especially twenty twenty, it's it's funny, and you just gotta stick around and, and keep turning the board until the ball comes into the park. And that's what happened last night for the US. Uh, Big deal, it's a big deal. To see the US, the first T20 World Cup, won their first game, it's a big deal. And what do you think about their chances in this? They're basically in a top. With India, they're in a given day, that's going to be tough. In a group with Pakistan, even though Pakistan, you know, we see they came in here, they had full team play. But Pakistan, a world champion team, you know, those teams, to, to make it through, how do you see US getting through this group? Well, like I always use the terms. Until the cricket balls have a different shape, it's cricket. I mean, it's cricket, which is, it's, and it's 2020. And you know how 2020 can, can get very ugly, very quickly. Um, so like I said, I, we, we already know who are the world teams and the big teams. You know, US is getting their feet wet in the system. Uh, but again, it's cricket. But I expect them to, to at least win another game. Somewhere along the line, they're in the, with, with, um, they're with, um, they beat Canada last night. What is in their zone? Otherwise, from India and Pakistan. Uh, Bangladesh. Bangladesh. They, they, in the two warm up, three warm up, they bought, they won two out of three against Bangladesh. Um, they know, I'm not sure if Bangladesh was full strength, but like I said, it's cricket and I expect them to win another game. Definitely. I, I'm bringing US to at least surprise another team. Who that team is going to be? I'm not sure you said the ball is wrong. Yes. You know, it have a change shape. And with that said, guys, you know, it can be anybody's game on a given day. T20 cricket is a game that just a single over can change the game. Just a single run that you didn't take could change the game. You know, and we even see it today here. You know, you guys had a very good win, but it came down to the last over. And, you know, hats off to you guys. You guys made it. Thank you, Anil. So we just want to say, Cricket, lovely cricket. Welcome to Cricket TV, Biff TV, the best TV. And I'm here, guys, with one of the grandfather of the cricket in USA. When I say grandfather, this is a real grandfather. We are here with Mark Johnson, a man who has been playing cricket for many years. And he will tell you how long it happened. I've been here for over 16 years. I've played for 16 years. Everybody know about Mark Johnson. Mark Johnson, just tell us a little bit about your cricket, when it started in the US, where it started in Jamaica, so they have a quick overview about you. Oh, okay. Well, good evening and thanks for having me. Uh, my cricketing career started way, 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 way back. Uh, 
I started at young age of about seven, eight, breathing as much. Playing at I guess it uh blue guns was a little bit. Good and better. Then we started the ice cooking in college. So, yes, this is the old boys, you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The forties. So, yeah, so after that, um, you know, I can go down to the National Duty in 1955. After that, I start college and divert a sporting event for the activity to soccer. And uh, for a couple of years, I was off in the circuit and, uh, at the college. Um, you know, came from New York and came here and was well, introduced to get yeah, so that was a, that was in the early 90s. But since then, um, it has been a part of my life. Uh, I kind of patterned my, my personal life where uh, very ambitious about the game. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a diehard lover of game. And so much, I have so much respect for games. So we give them to so we just here. Just so there you have it, guys. You have his early cricket. His early cricket started in Jamaica and based on KC, one of the top schools in Jamaica, whether it be track and field, whether it be cricket, whether it be brain cell. And the, that school, KC, stand out among the schools in Jamaica. So he went to one of the top schools in Jamaica. And I know he's pro. He wear the colors wherever he goes. You know, KC. So big up all the KC old boys and KC current students. You know, you have a man who represents KC to the highest level. And guys, I know he plays soccer. But when you talk about a cricketer, he's a public cricketer. You know, today, he's still playing after many years. I won't even have him tell you who he is. But he has been playing cricket as long as I've known him. He keeps very well. He does well in the outfield and is an excellent left-handed batsman. If you want to see class of shot, I would say Brian Laura has nothing on him. But here we're going to tell you something, guys. This is not the biological father of Steven Taylor. But this is the man who would have grown Steven Taylor into the player that we have seen now playing for the USA. And you know, with that said, I'm just gonna um, we call it Super Bowl. So anybody know him, Matt Johnson Super Bowl. And before you go there, guys, this gentleman also played for the US national team. So that is another standout achievement that you know we're talking about here. Not that he just played for the US national team, he had coached the US national team. So to be here with a man of his caliber that tells you something. He can speak well in terms about US cricket, taking it from where it was to where it is now that we have international cricket and now we have World Cup cricket. But before we get there, guys, we just want him to tell us about Steven so you can find out how Steven got introduced into cricket. Well, Steven Taylor, it, it, it wasn't just me. It was a village, a village of cricketers. Um, his parents um, love it and like Steven Taylor. They're cricket lovers also. And, uh, you know, he was, he was birthed into the, 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 the club, the international cricket club. And, um, as a kid going around at the games and, you know, just following cricket, there's every single day's father would be playing and, um, open gears back. He would just go in and start and take and use whatever, whatever cricketing tools that he wanted to use. And he was, as, he was aspired from them to be a good cricketer. And um, lo and behold, he has developed it over the face of the West Cricket. And I'm not surprised that he has, he has gotten this far. And I'm affecting much more in terms of world cricket. And, uh, and we're very pleased to know that he's played at, at, at his own side. He's a, he's a natural born American. And not too many of us that we have played for game of cricket for national. With that said, um, um, it's currently going out here, and we just hope and you guys tune in to see what U.S. has done. They have, they have created history by winning their first um, U.S. Cricket World Cup game, T20. And um, this is this is a reflection of what what the past players have done. Um, like, I, like, like, like Ian has said, uh, I played for the U.S. and I said, back in the years, I played international tours, and my famous game was against Australia. I was by Greg. Whoever, those are those are those are the achievements and and the highlights of of the what 
So um, just want to know, because you actually play for the U.S. team, you actually coach the U.S. team. Just tell us how difficult it was there back then, because I know we used to play, but not that much interest was in cricket. I remember we were playing even against your team. We were showing up with seven men, we were showing with eight, ten, and a similar thing happened to your team sometimes. Some of the players, they just got out. So it was kind of difficult to find cricketers. Now I see the cricket field is rolling. So that's what happened. Just... Well, 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 okay, so back then when I played, when I was at the international before I played for the national, the national we had we had we had quality cricketers migrated from Asia. And and with that there was, there was tremendous talent. And we had we had formidable West teams that was that was uh that was competing and my then uh playing our sports once Asia. And and with that there was, there was tremendous talent. And we had we had formidable West teams that was that was uh that was competing and my then uh playing our sports once we're qualified for for fifty over uh qualification. But we got knocked out and and cricket has 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 improved to the fact that the structure now that is in place has far surpassed that what we are losing the play back then. Nonetheless we had played some good competitive cricket because we had players who loved the game. And and now it's now it has transcend into a rural state you now where the West is both the rural couple. Um, we have always been recognized, but now it's, it's recognized and there's action. Uh, we, we can't deny what, what is going on in New York, in Dallas, like here in the Florida, where we have ICC certified pitches. Uh, the facilities are great, and uh, what's the TV you can tell from the other night and, 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 and what is to be expected from the from the the, the, the Fort Lauderdale pitch and the and the pitches in, in New York. So with that, um, it, it 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 has taken off, and we just hope that um, the, the, the greater population could, could get attracted to it because it's not an easy sport to to, to be attracted to uh, because of all the controversies, you know, the, the, the fighting, the bowling, the, the, the feeling, stuff like that. Nonetheless, once you once you see the game, there's some level of interest that will that will come. So um, the, 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 the the growth is there. Uh, uh, we just open that. It continues on this level where it has become a it will become a staple event in the US. All right, getting close in USA. No, tell us what you think about the chances, what you think about this current team that is playing in the tournament. Well, the current team that is played is made up of some international players, some class international, um, national players. There are also some franchise players, so they're exposed to the high level. Um, the, the, the coaches love Mr. Lai. He's, he's a fantastic coach. And, and you know, the sky's the limit. Thank you, Mr. Mark Johnson, a.k.a. Subon. Thank you for everything you have done for U.S. cricket. Thank you for what you have done for the youngsters, and especially Stephen Taylor, because I know you didn't tell the people enough, but you'll take Stephen Taylor, and he will be practicing shot, guys, because he's no, like I said, on. Like I said, Stephen was not just me. It was an old village, and, and, and everybody knows him. But uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Yes,